Hello, welcome back. Let's play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue to go over the reference materials. Today, we will be going over the SE-27 Flanker B. SE-27 Flanker. Title, Sukhoi SE-27. NATO reporting name, Flanker. Type, single-seat all-weather air superiority fighter and single two-seat ground attack aircraft. Two-seat combat trainer. Program. Development began 1969 under leadership of Pavel Sukhoi. Construction of T-10-1 prototype, first of 15 Su-27 Flanker A's. Under Mikhail Simonov's supervision, began 1974 and was flown 20th of May 1977 by Vladimir Lushin. Prototypes had curved wingtips, rearward retracting nose wheel, tail fins mounted centrally above engine housings. Development was not easy. Two pilots lost their lives before major airframe redesign resulted in production configuration. Production began in 1979 with first flight of production aircraft 1981 and entry in the service 1985. Current production for export only centered in plant at Komsomolsk, Khabarovsk territory. Ground attack role observed in 1991, new versions being developed. Design features, developed to replace the Yak-28T, SU-15, and TU-28P-128 interceptors in APVO, and to escort SU-24 deep penetration strike missions, requirement was effective engagement of F-15 and F-16 and other future aircraft and cruise missiles. Exceptional range and internal fuel made flight refueling unnecessary until SU-24s received probes. External fuel tanks still not considered necessary. All swept integrated mid-wing configuration with long curved wing leading edge root edges. Lift generating fuselage, twin tail fins, and widely spaced engines with wedge intakes. Rear hinge doors and intakes hinge up to prevent ingestion of foreign objects during takeoff and landing. Integrated fire control system with pilot's helmet mounted target designator. Excuse me. Exceptional high alpha performance, basic wing leading edge sweep back 42 degrees, no dihedral or incidents. Landing gear, hydraulically retractable tricycle type made by Hydromash with single wheel on each unit. Main wheels retract forward in the wing roots, steerable nose wheel with mud guard also retracts forward. Main wheel tires 1300 by 350 millimeters, pressure 12.25 to 15.7 bars, or 178 to 227 pounds per square inch. Nose wheel tires 680 by 260 millimeter, pressure 9.3 bars, or 135 pounds per square inch. Hydraulic brakes with two-signal anti-skid system. Brakes shoot housed in fuselage tail cone. Power plant. Two Saturn Luca AL31F turbofans, each 122.6 kilonewtons or 27,557 pounds force with aft burning. Large auxiliary air intake lures in bottom of each three-ramp engine duct near primary wedge intake. Two rows of small vertical lures in each side wall of wedge and others in top face. Fine grill screen hinges up from bottom of each duct to shield engine from foreign object ingestion during takeoff and landing. Pressure or gravity fueling. Accommodation pilot only on K36MD00 ejection seat under large rearward opening transparent blister canopy with low sill. Avionics, track well scan, coherent pulse Doppler look down shoot down radar, antenna diameter approximately 1 meter or 3 feet 4 inches, with reported search range of 130 nautical miles or 240 kilometers or 150 miles, and tracking range of 100 nautical miles or 185 kilometers or 150 miles. Infrared search and track sensor and transparent housing forward of windscreen, Sirena 3 360 degree radar warning receivers, outboard of each bottom air intake, lip, and at tail. Integrated fire control system enables radar, IRST, and laser rangefinder to be slaved to pilot's helmet mounted target designator and displayed on wide angle HUD. Autopilot able to restore aircraft to right side up level flight from any altitude when panicked, but and depressed. Armament 130mm GSH 301 gun in starboard wing root extension with 150 rounds, up to 10 air to air missiles in air combat role. On tandem pylons under fuselage between engine ducts beneath each duct, under each center wing and outer wing, and in each wing tip. Typically two short burn semi-active radar homing R27R NATO AA-10A Alamo A in tandem under fuselage, two short burn infrared homing R27T aa 10 b Alamo B missiles on center wing pylons, and long burn semi-active radar homing R27ER or AA-10C Alamo C or infrared R27ET, NATO AA-10D LMLD, beneath each engine duct. The four outer pylons carry either R73A, 
AA11 Archer or R60 AA8 AFIG close range infrared missiles. R33 are AA9 AMOS missiles optional in place of AA10. Five round packs of 130mm rockets or larger rocket pods under wings and ground attack roll. Dimensions external for the flanker B, wingspan 14.7 meters, 48 feet, 2 and 3 quarter inches, length overall excluding nose comb, 21.935 meters or 71 feet, 11 and a half inches, height overall 5.932 meters or 19 feet, 5 and a half inches, fuselage max width 1.5 meters or 4 feet, 11 inches, tailplane span 9.9 meters or 32 feet, 6 inches, distance between fin tips 4.3 meters or 14 feet one and a quarter inches weights and loadings for the flanker b and flanker c max takeoff weight flanker b 22,000 to 30,500 kilograms or 48,500 pounds to 67,240 pounds uh i guess are they saying the uh these are all for b yeah, and these are both single. So, I don't know if they're saying the C is the top end of this range, and then they're the same for the rest, or what's going on there. <laughs> Max wing loading for the flanker B, 491.9 kilograms per meter squared, or 100.75 pounds per square foot. Max power loading for the flanker B, 124.4 kilograms per kilonewton, or 1.22 pounds per pound force. Performance, max level speed at height for flanker B and C, Mach 2.35, or 1,350 knots, or 2,500 kilometers per hour, or 1,550 miles per hour. At sea level for the B and C, Mach 1.1, or 725 knots, or 1,345 kilometers per hour, or 835 miles per hour. Rate of roll, approximately 270 degrees per second. Service ceiling for both, 18,000 meters, or 59,055 feet. Combat radius for the flanker B, 810 nautical miles or 1,500 kilometers or 930 miles. Range with max fuel for the flanker B, over 2,160 nautical miles or 4,000 kilometers or 2,485 miles. G limit operational for flanker B and C, plus 9 Gs. Length 21.93 meters, height 5.93 meters, wingspan 14.7 meters, max takeoff weight 30,500 kilograms. Max wing load, 491.9 kilograms per meter squared. Max level speed in knots, 725 knots. Max range, 2,160 nautical miles, a 500 meter takeoff run, a 600 meter landing run, and a service ceiling of 18,000 meters. And here we can see the infamous flanker, the, the original SU-27. And there you can see the widely spaced engines that they talk about that are, I believe, significantly closer on the F-15. But, and here they have that, you can see this pod, which uh, some have speculated contains electronic warfare equipment in some of the later versions, I think. And here they just said it was just a parachute. Very beautiful fighter, all things considered. Very analogous to the F-15, too. But they were designed, well, the F-15 was designed to fight the MiG-25, which everyone thought was a super fighter. Uh, it turned out they were wrong. And then that made the Soviets shit their pants, so then they made the SU-27 to fight the F-15. So, funny how that works, but... And you can see the camouflage, at least in, in this game with its resolution, is pretty good. It's, like, I can imagine that it might be hard on YouTube. I mean, maybe it'll be easier with the blown up the 4K, but, like, right now, it's a little bit hard to tell the difference between the the fighter and the C behind it. Kind of wish I could switch backgrounds to make it pop out more, but very capable fighter, all things considered. And still in service today with a multitude of countries and still seeing active combat service too in uh, Ukrainian service and Russian service, I suppose. That being said, that's all for today, I think. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. We'll see you then.